36 miles an hour. Holy cow, this bike just cruises. What is up, YouTube Adventure family? Today, we get to do a review on a different bike today. Today, we get to do a review on the Cy Rusher Quattro 750 watt 17 amp hour battery on this bad boy 48 volt we're going to take this bike from Vail down towards Beaver Creek and Avon and we're going to do a review on one of the most popular bikes on the internet right now because this bike fits get this 5'6 to 6'6 six, six in height that is unbelievable and this model here is a step through model this here is my favorite person in the world's bike she takes us to yoga she rides it constantly everywhere and has thoroughly enjoyed this bike all summer so today on the colorado adventure channel we're going to take the cy rusher quattro 17 amp hour 750 watt 48 volt e-bike out on adventure and we're going to give you all the hardcore review of the Cy Rusher Quattro e-bike and what a beautiful bike this is they do have a couple options on this they have the step over and the step through the step through version the Quattro is really just the the it's a game changer stepping through versus stepping over to me especially getting older is a huge advantage so today we're going to take this bike on a cool adventure we're going to go from Vail. we're going to head west a little ways back to my place then back up to here later on this evening and we're going to see what the side rusher quattro can do not only for me today what it can do for you so pay attention here we go the gps on so we can get an accurate idea of the mileage we're going to turn this bad boy on and it looks like we got 53 volts super awesome All right. there's a couple different modes here so let's see it has five modes we'll keep it on mode four we won't go the highest but we'll see what this bike has to offer all right here we go uh, the first thing i'll notice of this bike is definitely front suspension is amazing colors are beautiful today as you can see i will stop right here and give you a view of what i get every day the Cy rusher quattro 48 volt 750 watt e-bike review so today we're going to take this puppy out and we're going to see what kind of bike that we got this belongs to my girlfriend she uses it all the time for yoga and running around running errands and stuff just where it's hard to find a parking place sometimes at the places where she teaches yoga and also living in Vail we're parking for farmers market things like that could be an issue so this bike right here has been really clutch for her she picked it out online and bought it I want to say about two months ago is when she got it so we're going to take this puppy out for a nice little cruise but yeah i mean like the only other e-bikes i could really compare this to that i've ridden a lot of was like the ingway pro 2 e-bike like the foldable e-bike that ingway came out with like last year year before or whatever and then I've got the Juiced Rip Racer, which is an amazing e-bike too. And I, I really enjoyed both of those bikes. The Juiced Rip Racer, obviously a lot better of a bike uh, than the Ingway E2 Pro or E Pro 2 or whatever it was, the foldable bike. The Juice is obviously a better bike just because of the 52 volt versus 70 or the 52 volt versus 48 volt uh, bigger battery definitely more uh, newton meters of torque 
um, just a lot of things. But the Ingway was a great bike, and it was my main source of transportation for a year and didn't have any problems with it, except for like the brakes. One time they are the uh, cable brakes, so they did snap once, but that's me just beating the heck out of it, just so you understand. So those two bikes are the bikes that I have to compare with, along with this bike here, which to me so far just seems to be a smoother riding bike. It does have a, a, a legit Bafang 750 watt motor on it that's powered by 48 volt uh, 17 amp hour battery. So the battery's a little bit bigger than mine. Uh, the motor's probably a little bit better quality, but the volts on this bike being 48 versus 52 is a little less. So I'm thinking maybe the torque on this bike may not be as much as mine. But the over end, the top end speed of this bike is faster than mine. And also what I'll notice on the Side Rusher Quattro is I could throttle only and get up to 31, 32 miles an hour on throttle only, where on the Juice Rip Racer, I have to do pedal assist past 20 miles an hour to obtain that speed even though it's considered a class three bike and this one is considered a class two this one's actually faster and i could have the throttle control after unlocking it or i could get up to a higher speed so saying all that this bike is a little bit faster top end maybe initially out of the gate it doesn't have as much torque or it just does not have as much torque initially out of the gate but after that first couple seconds it has about the same just initially from a stop to a throttle it just doesn't but after you get going i don't really notice a lot of difference between my juiced rip racer and this bike on the takeoff so initially the juiced rip racer definitely has more power this bike seems to have about as much torque, as much power initial takeoff as my Ingway did that was also a 48 volt. So there is a little bit of a difference from this e-bike to the next. So they're doing some work down here. They're adding new trails further down. I've talked about this in my other videos. Super awesome. They're, they went right, right down through there. That's crazy. Uh, but they are doing trail work up here, adding more trails, so on and so forth. So it's super, super cool that we're gonna have more trails. So yeah, like right, right there, I was about 18 miles an hour. And as I started, you know, doing the throttle or whatever, I'll be on your left up here. I'll be on your left. Thank you. How you doing today? Nice bike. Um, so as we get up through here and get into a more scenic area, we'll talk a little bit about how this bike is acting and performing so far. Very cool. Smooth ride on this bike trail. The front suspension's really nice. You could kind of adjust the suspension. I think you could only like leave it free and then lock it. So you could either have suspension or no suspension, depending on the comfort of your ride and also how much you inflate the tires. This only has front suspension, but if I lower a little bit of the tire pressure in the tires, like let's say down to 20 or so, I get a little bit more cushion and it's really, really nice. You know, so my biscuits honestly are really small. So any little bit of cushion really, really helps a lot. It looks like right now the GPS is showing about 24. This is showing a lot more, so it's a little off for sure. It looks like we got up to about 26, 27 there for a minute. Throttle only in mode four. So not too shabby at all. All right. Take this turn here. Always go careful around the turns. You don't know what awaits you. Yeah, but like once you get some speed going, this thing really climbs really decent. Especially with the pedal assist. It does have, I think, what, seven gears. Um, so it does have gears to help pedal assist. Also, 
This is a terrific bike for exercise. Because if you're at a height anywhere between five, 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 six, and six, six, you could ride this bike. That means you could get adequate exercise with the gears and everything as well. Let's pull over here on a beautiful sunny fall day, or I guess it's autumn, in Colorado. All right, let's get the kickstand off and let's talk more about the Cyrusher Quattro e-bike, 750 watts of awesomeness, 48 volts, 17 amp hour battery, hydraulic brakes, adjustable seat. The bike is huge. It is fairly heavy. It is a heavy bike. It's a big bike. That's why it's heavy. I'm thinking this bike is running right around the 80 pound, 85 pound range. So it is a fairly heavy bike. So if you have trouble holding up something you think is more on the heavy side, you might want to get something lighter. But honestly, that weight helps a lot with center of gravity and traction, comfort of ride, stability, and things like that as well. So as you can see, it does have some great rotors here. I'm thinking that these are 180. Yeah, it looks like we got 180 millimeter rotors on here. They're hydraulics, the hydraulic brakes. It looks like it says nothing. So I guess they're kind of like a generic hydraulic brake. But you can see the Bafang engine on there. And yeah, I just don't see any name on there. So it's probably just a Cy Rush or House brand, generic brand brake. As you can see, the tires are real nice knobby tires. They look pretty decent. They're holding up really well. The battery's internal. You can unlock the battery and take it out. I suggest you just leave it in unless you just need to bring it in for whatever reason. The controller looks like it's placed right here. I did add on a bottle holder. I did add on the phone mount that I always use on my bikes, on her bike as well. I did add a little horn. Ain't that cool? It's got all kinds of knock neat little functions. I did that more for just being funny than anything. The standard horn that comes with it is just a little odd. Sounds a little weird. I will show you right here. It just sounds weird. So with this one, we could, I mean, we could add some more sound effects on there and make it more fun. So those are basically the only things I've added on. It did come with this rack, so you didn't need a rack. The only thing that we really added onto it was the bottle holder, the phone mount, and just a fun little horn here. It comes with a great light. The light works actually pretty good. You're not going to really get to see it much in the daylight, obviously, but it does work fairly well at night, as I've seen. The brakes, I don't know, it's got, definitely has that on there, and it looks like we got a little bit of brake light. So that's cool. The brakes work great. The bike is just phenomenal. It's a super smooth bike. So let's get back on the road. Let's talk a little bit more about the Cyrusher Quattro, and then we'll wrap it up with a conclusion, but what a great bike for the mountains. And look at that view, boys and girls. It is autumn here in Colorado. And like I've said before, Lion's Head Rock going on to Minturn and Meadow Mountain. We just left Vail on the bike path, headed that way towards Beaver Creek. So let's get back on the Side Rusher Quattro, talk some more about this awesome e-bike. All right, so let's jump on this puppy. Uh, I'm not checking messages today. I am working on my YouTube channel. So let's buzz on up here and see what the rest of this little journey brings. They're doing some work on this main trail right here, so we might have to get off the bike trail, actually onto the road, which is a really great opportunity for us to see how this e-bike handles on the road as well. So let's maybe Pop up a gear, get into fifth. All right. That's a nice 
nice motorcycles out. Heck yeah. Great day for that. All right. As we are heading down, we are going right around 30 miles an hour, according to GPS, 31 miles an hour. Throttle only, amazing. We're going 34, 35, holy cow, boys and girls, 36 miles an hour. Holy cow, this bike just cruises. I can't get over 27, 28 miles an hour on my G-Strip racer. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. What an awesome, awesome e-bike this is. And I smell some roadkill. Oh yeah. Throttle only, man. This bike is a beast. This is how an e-bike should come. I mean, you shouldn't have to buy an off-road controller, buy extra things to throttle only. That's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, what a fun e-bike, boys and girls. I mean, this thing's like riding a motorcycle. All right, as we come to a stop. And we try those brakes out again, boys and girls. Absolutely amazing. What is up, dude? How, how much longer do y'all got on this project? Oh, we're, we're painting the road to be back to normal. So we'll get to use that bike pass soon? Soon, we're putting up the guardrail too. That's the only thing that left. is amazing, dude. The left is the, the far side rail. Yeah? So like, you know, Yeah, well, well, yeah, yeah I mean, that's what I would do. I don't even drink and that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is great, man. Thank you all for doing this. This is awesome. This is a biking community, so it there's works out good for us. You can get There's on the bike path right there. There's oh, the okay, yeah. right there by the fence. Yeah. So yeah. on the right, on my right side of that fence. Yeah. 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 Okay, thank you. Yep. Yeah. Rolling way. Get on the bike. Right. Have a good, good seeing you, brother. Good night. All right. Here we go. So that was nice getting to talk to the guys there from. The road crew doing their thing. I'll be on your left here, man. So that was really cool talking to those guys. So right through here, as you can see, the bike path looks absolutely amazing. They said they got to put the rail up and everything will be finished. And then we could go play on the bike path. All right, back to the side rusher quadro. We're cruising at 30 miles an hour. Throttle only, and what an amazing bike. Absolutely amazing. This throttle only going over 30, right there in that situation with cars behind me, sitting at a stop sign, is absolutely freaking clutch. That right there would sell me alone over the juiced rip racer just having that top end speed to cruise in. So that was really, 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 really nice. This bike is extra smooth. I think the extra weight, the front suspension, just the bigger bike overall adds to a lot of stability. And it adds to a lot of, I guess, the security feeling of being on something bigger and it being able to adjust from something really low to someone that's five, 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 six, all the way up until, up, all the way up into uh, six foot six, which is crazy. So I guess if you're six, seven, six, eight, you're probably still gonna be okay. I mean, I ride a really small bike for my frame. You know, I'm 165, six foot two. The Juice Rip Racer is a small bike for me. And I still have an absolute blast on it. I ride it miles every day. But this bike being a little bit bigger, I'm seeing where my legs stretch out, having the front suspension, more stability, the bigger tires, the, the more top end speed. I could see how these things really fit in 
as well as the other bikes. Every bike kind of has its niche. You know, it really does. You're going to have some with 52 volts, some with 48. Some are coming out with 60 now with like the Freedom Wired, which is just a great looking bike. The new one this year has some upgrades on it. And it takes a couple years for these bike manufacturers really to hone in. I'm working really closely with one right now. You all will see in the future. It will probably be the bike of my channel next summer and probably this winter as well. But I really take these bikes through a lot of abuse, up the hills, through the roads, on the bike trails, even on some light bike paths, just to give you an idea of what these bikes can do on a normal basis. All right, so we're going to get over here to the stop sign. We're going to pull this puppy over, and we're going to talk about the Cyrusher Quattro e-bike. It is really just amazing. We're going to pull down here a little further and probably get down to the park and talk about this bike where we could get a little bit of peace and quiet. All right. It is a beautiful day here in the middle of Colorado in the Rockies. Again, we are right outside of El Colorado. We were in Bell earlier to come this way. So we're in between Bell and Beaver Creek right now, ski resorts, and not too far from Aspen, not too far from a couple others as well. So this is a great opportunity to really test these e-bikes in all kinds of conditions because they take no prisoners. I mean, this weather takes no prisoners. Eagle Bell. This park is actually named after Michaela Schifrin. All right. So let's pull up here and let's talk about the Cyrus Quattro. And it handles sand just fine, as you can see, as we pull on the sandy beach of Eagle Vale. Mm. All right. Look at this. We're sitting here. This is the Eagle Vale Pavilion right down the road from where I live, but check it out. The Aspens are changing. It is absolutely gorgeous out and what a great day to do a review on a great e-bike. This again is the Cyrusher Quattro e-bike with a 750 Bafang motor on it. It's got the Shimano Turney derailleur, you know, the basics of most e-bikes. It's got hydraulic disc brakes a 180 millimeter up front we did 37 miles per hour top speed at a distance of almost seven miles this bike now has almost 300 miles on it the charge is still at 52.1 volts right under seven miles again what a fantastic e-bike for colorado it does really well it rides really smooth You've got the adjustable forks up front. It's got a great headlight. It's got a huge 17 amp hour battery on it. It is a very heavy bike. Saying that, it fits a big range of people from five foot five, five foot six to six foot six. It fits a huge range of people. Persons, Yeti, Sasquatches, whatever. It fits a huge range of people it is a heavy bike it is on the heavy side a lot of that has to do with just a big frame of a bike it's got a big battery in it too that's another 20 pounds probably so it is a huge bike but to wrap this up if you're looking for a great step through bike with some front suspension on it at a great price right now i think it's running 1399 it's normally 2100 2099 i think so right now we're in at 1399 I believe it's probably one of the best deals out there. It comes in this cyan color. I think it comes in a white as well. It is a beautiful bike. Go out and get you one. Again, 
The SciRusher Quattro review is now complete. Until the next time, until the next adventure, I'll see you then. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.